So the lab we're going to demonstrate today is dynamics of molecules. And the whole purpose of this is to compare hot water and cold water and see which one has more energy. So this is the cold water. It's been pre-cooled in ice. And the hot water has been heated over a hot plate. We're going to take them off the hot plate and out of the ice and put them in the middle. Wait a minute to let them um, actually stop moving around. The water stop moving and have a flat surface. Then we're going to add blue food dye to the cold water and red food dye to the hot water. And you should be able to see the difference in how the food coloring spread because of the energy, the differences in energy in the flasks. So I will move the cold to the middle and the hot. And give them just a minute to get a flat surface. So now that the water has calmed down, we're going to add the food colorings at the same time so we can kind of see what's happening together. One drop each. And as you can kind of see, the, the red food coloring in the hot flask is spreading out far quicker than the blue food coloring in the cold flask. And that's because the water molecules are actually more energetic because of the heat that's been applied to the flask. If you guys will notice, in the cold beaker, the blue food coloring pretty much stops moving in the water. In the hot flask, the red food coloring has pretty much spread throughout the water.